So this is a video tutorial for the articulated finger extensions, which are found on Thingiverse, and they are thing number 4266397. This is going to be a two-part video. The first part is going to go through the different models, how do you separate them out, what they mean, everything like that, the sizing and uh, printing of the uh, pieces and what how many pieces you need for a single finger. Uh, the second video will be assembly. There will be a link to that in the description. So if you only care about how to put them together, you already know how to size them, and you already know what the pieces are, then go ahead and hit the description and switch over to the assembly video. This one will be just about what pieces parts belong to this entire thing. So um, it took me a little while to figure out, and I have to uh, give a big shout out to user Dr. Fizgig for his awesome drawing that showed me how to put them together. Uh, if you look in the comments down here, uh, there is a link right here from him, and it goes to his Dropbox, which shows you the, uh, the diagram and everything like that, and it's got a parts list on there as well. Uh, could not have done it without this, and these things are extremely complicated to put together, so, you know, it's not uh, really possible without that drawing, honestly. So, looking at the parts, we've got a lot of them. And you don't need every single one. It's just you've got to figure out which pieces you need. Um, if you don't speak German, it can be a little daunting because they are written in German. So Bolzen is the German word for bolt. For bender is the German word for connector. Zamrad is gear. And Zugebe is lever. Okay. Uh, there's different uh, versions. So you'll have like a gear one and two, a lever one and two. And then there's also different sizes on some of them. So like your bolts, you're going to have anywhere from 11 to 24 millimeters. Um, your levers are going to be 62 and 76. And your parts are going to be all over the map. We'll go through parts in a sec. So um, if you look at the sizes, and this is just part one, which is the piece that fits closest to your hand, if you look at the... Uh, at the picture here, part one is this bit right here. This is two, this is three, I'm sorry, two, three, four, and five. Um, so part one is this piece, and it's going to be the main one you have to size in order to get them to fit your fingers correctly. But if you look at the dimensions on it, ignoring the millimeter size, X, Y, and Z are all the same. Now you've got the difference here being the Z is a uh, one and then if it's a small part the z is uh you know also a similar length or whatever so what that's for is basically on your thumb you're going to or pinky you're going to want to use the small ones and then on your other three fingers you want to use the regular size ones that's all the difference is between the small and the regular as far as those go and they're not um very consistent as far as uh which ones have small parts and which ones don't especially if you look at um uh, part two, because in part two, you've got some with small and some without and whatever. But again, if you notice the X, Y, and Z, they're all going to be identical. So, so the thing is, with the Z being different, it doesn't really matter because it's just how long the part is. And, but since the X and Y are the same, then it's a lot easier because uh, you can fit any part with anything else. So if you use like a 20 millimeter part one and a 16 millimeter part two, it doesn't matter because they're actually going to fit together exactly like the other ones do. So that kind of takes some of the worry out of it. So the question is, what do these 20, like the, the millimeters mean? Uh, when you're looking at the files for the first thing, you'll notice like this one says 205, that really means 20.5. Um, or this is 19, this is 17.5, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so keep that in mind. And then basically what they do is, oops, I brought them into Tinkercad in order to illustrate what the, what the numbers mean. So for this one, let's say, you notice the cylinder fits perfectly inside there. And if you look at the dimensions on this cylinder, it's 21.5 by 21.5. And over here, we've got one that is 22 by 22. So basically, what that number means on the part is the diameter of the cylinder that would fit inside that piece, not how actually big the piece is. So what you can do is if you have a caliper, you can measure your fingers. Um, you don't have to. You could, you could 
you know, use trial and error and just print a few of them out in order to figure out what pieces you need. And you may have to do that anyway. But if you're using a caliper, make sure you leave enough room where your finger slides easily in and out between the two uh, little prongs on it because you don't want it too tight because you're going to be able to shove your finger in there in order to get it to work right. Um, so then let's talk about printing now. We'll talk about the parts needed first. So here's the deal. The 3, 4, and 5 are one size fits all. So for any single finger, you will need one 3, one 4, and one 5. Easy enough. Uh, the 1 and 2 are going to be are going to change depending on which fingers you're dealing. And also the lever one is going to change depending on which fingers you're doing. So you'll need a 62 millimeter for your thumb or pinky or a 76 for the, your other fingers. Uh, the rest of the levers and gears and connectors don't change and the bolts are always the same. So what I did in order to print them out is I split them into four different prints. I did the three, four, five in one print because it's really kind of a long print. I did the bolts in one print. I did uh, most of the gears and connectors in the other print. And then in the last print I did my one, two and my uh, lever one because these are the ones that are going to change depending on which finger you're doing. That way, when you print out a finger, you can do all of these three prints exactly the same. And then this is the one that's going to um, change depending on which finger you're doing. You don't have to split them up that way. That's just how I did it to make it easier so that, um, because my printer tends to gum up a little bit if I'm trying to do too many things at once on it. Um, but, you know. Uh, and another thing I want to add, and this is the quantity you need also, by the way, so you need one of everything basically, except for the bolts, you're going to need two 11s and you're going to need four 24s. Something I will tell you right now, you're going to break bolts when you're putting it in there. I'll show you a little trick I use in order to try and make it a little, um, easier to put them in, but you will snap those bolts. I promise you. So what I do is I print 10 of the 24 millimeters, uh, because if you break a 24, you need something that's 24. And if you break a smaller one, you can always cut one of the 24s down. But you'll definitely need some extra bolts because you will snap a few of them when you're assembling this thing. It's not the easiest thing in the world to put together. So that's basically it for the parts and stuff. I hope that helped with y'all. And um, I will see you in the next video for the assembly.